Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is my Model 3 long range charging at a 120 volt port. So if you've looked at my one year review video, I hint at me having to charge at a 120 volt port um, for the entirety of my car's life, but I didn't go into too much detail. So today I'd like to talk about living with a 120 volt charger only and if you can survive. So I have the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive. So I have the Model 3 with the longest range. You can get a Model S with a much longer range, including a Model X with a much longer range these days. But I have the Model 3 long range rear wheel drive that I purchased in June 2019. So I've had it for about 15 months. So the entirety of the life of this uh, car, I've lived in an apartment. My last apartment, I uh, had a reserved spot, which had a you know 120 volt outlet where I charged. I moved to this apartment about a month ago and I went out this garage. So I'm able to plug in my car instead of having to go to a supercharger or a level two charger to top up. Um, I am an essential worker, so I've continued to work during quarantine not from home actually i have to go to work myself so i've continued to rack up miles not as much as before because no not as much uh, road trips but uh, still pretty hefty amount of driving so in 13 or 14 months uh, almost 15 months now i've driven um, about 24,000 miles over 24,000 miles and i got the car with like three or four miles on it so I'm by no means a light driver. I definitely drive more than the average population. So uh, this is my apartment complex, as you can see behind me, and my car is parked in this garage, and my apartment back there, um, and it's not a long of, too long of a walk. So let's show you um, what's going on as far as my charging statistics. So my commute to work is actually about 35, 40 miles away, about 40 miles away. And um, I usually use about 40 miles worth of um, range because it's pretty much, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour speed limit most of the time I go there. So I don't use more range than uh, you know, actually, if you see my last return to work, I only used 196 watt hours per mile. So it was a slower drive, as you can see, it took me 40, 54 minutes to get home. But typically I use about 40 miles, 35 to 40 miles of range. And, you know, going there, sentry mode off, coming back, I use about 85 miles of range every day. So using 85 miles of range every day, and I work 12 hour shifts, come back, plug in, go back next day, I'm gonna, you know, only charge about 40 miles overnight because I'm only charging for 10 hours. And this charging speed, um, you know, the charging speed can uh, go up to five miles an hour at this garage. At my old garage, I used to get the full five. Here I only get four because I've reduced it from 12 amps to 11 amps because sometimes I've noticed that when I open or close the garage while it's charging, it might start blinking. Uh, the lights start blinking as if the uh, door opener didn't have enough power. So I don't want my car charging system to have any shortages. So I reduced it by one um, from 12 amps to 11 amps. And I've never really had issues. I get a little over four miles an hour of charging speed which is obviously not substantial. So if you do have a house where you can install a 240 volt charger, well charger, obviously that's the best bet, right? It's gonna make, make your life a lot more convenient. That being said, if you have the long range rear wheel drive model three and you're not a, you know, you're not an insanely heavy driver where you're driving, you know, 100 plus 200 miles every day you don't really need that at home do you need a 240 watt charge at home no this is my only car i mean now I, I recently just about three weeks ago i bought another car for my wife but between the two of us this was our only car 
Uh, obviously, on the days I go to work, we're not driving after I come back because I work 12 hour shifts. I'm an hour commute back and forth is 14 hours. I don't have any other time in the day to do anything else. On the days I'm not working, obviously it's charged overnight or you know, if I work the night shift, it's charged uh, a few hours while I'm sleeping and I, we can go. And obviously, even if it doesn't charge, I my um, I set my charger to 90%. 90% I have 280 miles, depending on the state of uh, you know state of the battery that day. Sometimes I'll go up to like 282, whatever. So 280 miles. Say I drive, go to work, come back, and I'm at like 185, 190ish, right? That's sort of normally where I end up at. Uh, I charge back in the morning to about 235. By the time I leave, come back next day, I'm at like 250. I mean 150 right uh, because i work 12 hour days i never really work more than three or four shifts in a row usually just three but sometimes you know i might pick up extra and i might work four and working four shifts in a row driving um driving 90 miles of range a day including sentry mode and charging only on this i you know end the whole cycle with about you know 100 miles of range left on the car which is still more than 30 percent of my battery so you know driving pretty heavily for four straight days i would still end up with you know at the beginning of the fifth day i'll end up with you know more than 100 miles after one night charging so you know obviously if you have a short range model 3 or the standard range you know you might have difficulty uh, maintaining this heavy of a usage but you have a more efficient car so maybe your charging speeds a little faster uh, but then you know, even so, it's not going to be that much faster. You probably do need a long range Model 3 if you have moderate, uh, moderately long commute like I do. Uh, I, some would say it's a pretty long commute given that it takes me, you know, I use about 90 miles of range every day. Um, can you survive? Yes. Would I recommend it if you have another option? No. How many times have I had to go hang out at a supercharger for 10, 15. By the way, the supercharger is only like 10 minutes from me. So it's very convenient in case I do need to supercharge. In the last year and two months, so it's 14 months now of, uh, of just having 120 volts, I've been to the supercharger once uh, to top up before I go to work. And that was because I drove uh, home to Charlotte and back up to Durham um and on my way back to durham i did not supercharge in the way so you know i charged up at home in charlotte because i lived there for a couple of days then when i came back i did not top up in the supercharger because i was just in a hurry because we left a little later so next day i started my drive off at only 150 miles and i had three shifts in a row so uh before my third shift i could have make it back and forth i had like 100 miles or something of range i could have made it back and forth but i didn't want to cut it too short so you know i went to the supercharger and i topped up for 10 minutes got, got 100 extra miles and came back right uh, my free charging is over so now you know uh, back then it was free charging so i could have done it you know more often but i only did it that one time i only for like 100 miles because i didn't need more um so you know in one year and two months, 14 months, I only had to go out of my way to charge my car once. And, you know, it's not too much of an inconvenience, really. But, you know, I, if, if I were to have kids, um, I probably, you know, have, would have more unexpected trips, like, you know, going to their school or going to pick up some food or take them to some activity, even after school whatever or after my work so things like that can add up obviously you know so um so a 30 watt char a 30 30 miles per hour charger and uh, that you can get up to even 40 at some places with the 240 volt charging um is going to be convenient but can you survive without it absolutely a lot of tesla uh channels will tell you that you cannot survive on a 120 volt charger it's absolutely not true I can show you how many miles I have here. So I have 24,145 miles. Uh, so I got my car June 29th, 2019. So it's been about 14 months. Um, this is my lifetime. Well, this is the true lifetime, right? 24,145, but 
I kept this odometer, so I got my car with four miles on it. So this is my true lifetime. I've driven 241 watt hours per mile because this is a rear wheel drive. It's a little bit more efficient. Most of my driving is over 50 miles an hour. So obviously I'm going to be going over the Tesla recommended or Tesla, um, what Tesla thing should be. This is summertime driving. I reset my trip meter between winters and summer just to track, you know, summertime driving, you do a lot better. So I'm at 228 miles an hour or 228 watt hours per mile. Uh, winter time, I'll probably go up to 245 to 50, um, you know, as, as the efficiency changes. So, um, like I said, I do think it's uh, possible. A couple of tips is you want to make sure that you always connect your car back in as soon as you get back home. Um, I have done things that have, you know, made it a little bit more risky for me or cause me some range anxiety such as sometimes i would charge you 80 percent, or sometimes i won't plug in my car intentionally thinking hey i'm not going anywhere for a couple of days i don't need to plug it in um that's really not necessary just go ahead and plug your car in you know don't try to play games with it just try to have your car as full as possible at all times i mean it's not like your car is gonna reach max capacity within you know within a few hours of charging um like you would at you know at a 240 volt so plug it in whatever i mean you can always go into your app and stop charging if you want um that's fine you can always you know um always leave your car in 90 90 percent charge for a longer time who cares it's not gonna really affect your battery life or battery capacity battery uh degradation that much um it, tesla says charge your car to 90 percent if Tesla says it, it's probably not a bad thing, right? Uh, they've done plenty of research on this. So, you know, I'll show you my garage here and um, some of your garages might have better uh, charge speeds depending on the plug I have. As you can see, I have the very uh, simple, you know, uh, 12 or 15 amp charger. It's a 15 amp charger. You give some leeway to the car, you get 12 amps of charging, right? There's some automatic drop off uh, in charging to protect the electrical system. So thank you for watching. If you have more questions about this, please leave a comment down there and I'll be happy to respond. Um, if you have uh, other comments, I'll be happy to respond as well. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.